So as I'm sure many of you have seen, Mr. Beast a couple of days ago did finally make a statement on the Chris Tyson grooming situation and is getting completely and utterly destroyed for it for very good reason because if you haven't seen it, I'm going to read it to you, but if you have, you would know it reads so corporate, so soulless, more like it is out of obligation and what is very expected to be done without a hint of actual remorse or apology. So welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host Leon Idol, and we're going to go and get into this, but not only are we going to get into what Mr. Beast said, my thoughts on it, a lot of other people's thoughts on it, but also the insane pushback that certain streamers and other YouTubers are getting for dead naming Chris Tyson or for referring to him as a, uh, you know, as a him, which he is. The, the internet is more worried about making sure that the pronouns are properly placed than the fact that there have been now multiple accusations of grooming. But here's the post from Mr. Beast himself. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. First of all, I do not believe for a moment that you only found out over the last couple of days, because by the time things like this gets to us normies, us plebeians on the internet, it's already reached the upper echelons of damage control, PR, things to that effect. So, no, no, it was not over the last few days. In fact, there's a lot of sources saying that it's entirely possible, if not probable, that Mr. Beast is known for a lot longer than that. Now, I'm not here to slander Mr. Beast's name. I don't know him personally. Uh, you know, couldn't care less. Like, like I I'm more interested in how you this is going to be handled moving forward, how this is being handled with the public. I don't actually have, in, in my poor, uh, opinion, uh, no trustworthy enough source to, to really lay claim one way or the other. Like, like on a personal level, yeah, I believe he probably did know your best friends with somebody. You, you, you tell your best friends even your deepest, darkest of secrets. They, they know you better than they know themselves sometimes. Uh, but the, the hilarious part about this is also still calling, you know, Ava Tyson, like, like, so afraid of triggering the, oh, my transphobia crowd that's still going with, with, with respecting this new pronoun name change and in a way I do get it because this one of the, Mr. Beast got one of the biggest brands in the world like, like off YouTube again Mr. Beast Burger all of his food endeavors like yes the moment he starts dead naming the moment he starts uh, you know using Chris's real name calling him a he there's gonna be so many companies that pull out of brand deals and whatnot purely because oh he's transphobic not even considering the fact that oh he had a pedophile working for him. Like, it is, it just goes to show the, the cultural degradation that we are experiencing. Uh, during that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct, to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. I actually can't blame him too much for this one. I think that this is a uh, very well, at, at least optically, this is stated very well. Now, hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation... Oh, what's that investigation going to entail? Are you going to slip him some millies? Are you going to try and make this whole thing disappear? Are we ever going to get information on that uh, that, that independent third party um, you know, investigation? That's that's the question because this is going to be one of those things where no matter how it turns out, nobody is going to be satisfied and. It's kind of the position you put yourself in when you start allowing things to progress to this level. When you start saying, hey, I've got a channel that is geared towards children and families. I'm the most wholesome content creator on the internet. And now I'm going to start shoving this modern day ideology into my videos and not say anything about it. Act like it's completely normal. When, let's be real, they're a bit of a grooming problem in that particular community. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you should have accepted this. You should have figured this was going to happen. You've been like, hey, man. I'm proud of you, speak your truth, you're my best friend, but uh, this is not good for me, it's not good for my channel, nothing good will come of this, so it's probably best you uh, just take your leave, bounce out, and this could have all been avoided by the time that this information came out, because it inevitably would have come out, you would have been all clear, you'd be able to say, Man, he hasn't been with my company like you know in, in months, and almost a year now, over a year now, you know, whenever you know Chris Tyson did that transition, uh, so... Uh, th this is all off me. Like, it would have been that simple because you had to indulge modern poisonous ideology. This is coming on you now. And so when the information comes out about this uh, thorough investigation, as you so put it, it's not going to be good enough because even when it comes to light, it will probably read just as corporate and soulless as what you're giving us here as a way to just placate individuals and get the media and everyone criticizing you off your back. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company. Again, saying Ava. Remove Chris. You fired Chris. Say what it is. You fired Chris. Which, by the way, goes against the narrative from literally just a couple days ago, you know, the day or so before you made this statement where Chris Tyson said... 
we, uh, I've been reflecting on my actions, and we have mutually decided it's best that I leave the company. And I remember, you guys go back and watch the video, I said... Yeah, no, homie was fired. Like, like, there ain't no way he wasn't fired. Even though Chris Tyson said that it was mutual, we all know the truth. We know all this sort of stuff goes down. And now here you are, and you know, admitting it, saying, I've taken an, uh, the, the initiative and the immediate action to remove Ava from the company. So, yes, there was no mutual decision there. You fired your buddy because your buddy's a creep. Good move. Too little, too late, uh, and, and should not have given him the A-OK -okay to say that it was mutual because there's going to be a bunch of people that run with that narrative now because that ideology and sticking with that community means so much to them. My channel, any association with Mr. Beast, I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions, uh, but, but, but you do. See, when you have a channel with the reach that you have... And this stuff goes down under your watch to your viewers, mind you, because some of the individuals leveling accusations, I think all of the individuals leveling accusations, were your own viewers. Then, through the banality of evil, by you not nipping this in the bud, by you not uh, you know, uh, getting rid of, of Chris when you had the chance, you do condone this, as long as it doesn't get uh, brought to light. Well, sunlight kills all infections. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. Uh, but has the disease spread far enough for you to actually, for you to be unrecoverable? Now, I don't think, that I, I do think that Mr. Beast will be able to recover from this. Again, like, the, the dude is the single largest creator on the platform. He's got one of the most devout followings. Again, multiple brand deals. He, Mr. Beast is not just a YouTuber. He is a business mogul, so no, I don't think that he's going to be canceled. However, there are probably going to be a lot of serious repercussions and fallout that will take a long time to build back the trust of the fans, and of course there's going to be some that never come back, and frankly, understandably so, maybe even rightfully so. I never consumed his content in the first place, I can honestly say I've never seen a, a single complete Mr. Beast video, so doesn't really affect me either way in the content sort of th side of things, but it does make me wonder about, again, the nature of how deep this goes when it comes to his own viewers and, and, and the safety that uh, comes from that. And of course, what the fallout is going to be from that for other smaller channels. Because who knows, this is the sort of thing that can cause YouTube to get real twitchy and nervous and start enacting a whole tons of new uh, you know terms of service changes that are inevitably going to affect everybody on the platform when a lot of individuals uh, you know just do not have the means to, to you know adjust to those with such ease. So all I'm saying is... You kind of are, are screwing the rest of YouTube and, and all of its uh, you know, co um, content creators when stuff like this happens. It goes, you know, shit rolls downhill. And this was literally at the top of the, mount, uh, of the mountain. This was the Mount Everest. And this is a, like, shit snowball Indiana Jones style. So, I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a, co a comprehensive investigation. And will take any further actions based on the findings. What further actions is there to take? Because you said you fired him already. Are you going to pursue legal actions? Like, like, what do you mean take further actions? And also, how long is the necessary time? Enough time for people to uh, forget about this and focus on the next big thing that, you know, everyone gets wrapped up in? No, this is one of those, like, like scandals. H how many people talk about Dr. Disrespect? N none until this situation started. Dr. Disrespect was news for, like, a solid week. And then nothing. Is that going to be the case here? Are we going to find out that, uh, or not find out, I guess the opposite. Are we going to just not hear anything, forget about it, move on? And then months later, there's a few people talking about the investigation because, oh, the info is finally out. That's probably what's going to happen. In fact, that's probably what he is banking on. But he is being absolutely wrecked and destroyed in the comments. The hot twits coming, coming in with, his name is Chris. The dude left his family and talked to little boys online. The quartering. There have been several young men under the age of 16 that have come forward. Chris, a Ava was pretending, uh, was predat predating on your viewers. His name is Ava. You enabled him to prey on your young viewers. This statement is pathetic. Pathetic is a great word for it. I call it cold, uh, corporate, soulless, but pathetic's a pretty damn good word too. Why is it so hard to disavow grooming? Because if you didn't notice, I mean, yeah, he says that uh, I do not condone or support the, the inappropriate actions, but he doesn't actually list what they are. He doesn't come out and say grooming. You want to know why? Because grooming is one of those evil right-wing words. So, so you just got to say these actions. You got to keep it vague. You got to keep it generic. No, your homie, your buddy, Chris Tyson, groomed minors, groomed children, groomed young boys 
and you can't say that word because you're afraid of what will happen to your company, the online backlash, the way the news will report on you. It's honestly really disgusting. Luke Radowski, who is Ava, Savvy Artist, what up, Savvy? Uh, I don't believe you didn't know. You both interacted with the same artist who is infamous for their weird and horrible real child art. It's logical to assume you two, who lived together, talked about it. The art was on the wall in one of those videos. You would know his private behavior given what he did publicly. This is very uncool. Everyone would like to believe that you didn't enable the guy giving him easy access to ch children, but it's hard to believe otherwise. I hope whatever investigations conducted can be transparent and share findings, whatever that might entail. I hope you can clear. Uh, I hope it can clear you somehow, if appropriate. But all of this is just sad and worrying. I don't think I really need to go over anything else in terms of the, the, the apology, the apology, the, the statement. Savvy kind of really hit the nail on the head. But uh, then we got a bunch of content creators who are understandably and rightfully so not respecting uh, Chris Tyson's pronouns here. Well, first of all, I don't believe in respecting pronouns for 9 out of 10 people, even when they aren't pedophiles, so I uh, definitely don't plan on respecting the pedophiles' pronouns. But um, we, we, we got uh, Modeler Synth here, Moist Critical calling Ava they in his video. Cis people talk about a trans person without being unnecessarily disrespectful challenge level? Impossible. I cannot believe... I, I can't. I shouldn't even say I can't believe. I can 100% believe that here we are in 2024. We find out that the largest YouTube channel in the on the platform had one of their most famous members trying, not trying, successfully grooming children. And you're worried about what some streamer like Moist Critical is saying with his face hole using the wrong pronouns. My, wh whoever Modeler Synth is, I don't even know. You are absolutely disgusting you are oh of of course now i see the picture of course it's a fucking tranny oh my goodness uh stuttering craig says well i, I accidentally clicked on his profile but either way uh there was a uh, another post came out about someone uh, who was underage, part of Mr. Beast's Discord server at the time. That uh, let, let's see, is, is this still posted on? Yeah, 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 it's right here. So, starting credits says jail. Uh, we're not gonna play this whole thing, but here's just a little bit of it. This video has all the proof in it, all the receipts, and all the screenshots. Thanks to an old friend of mine who was a moderator in Chris's Discord server at the time, Cookie. Now, Cookie actually went kept the logs of it for himself. Claims that I made that lava refuted. For example, I made a claim that there was an NSFW channel in the server where Chris would spam corn. Here you can see Chris talking about locking down the NSFW channel to true gods and anointed only. Um, by the way, this is in 2019. I was a true god and I was a minor. Not only yeah, that, so, 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 so there's right this right here. Now, again, take it with a grain of salt, but uh, you got someone coming out who was supposedly a member of Chris's Discord, and uh, as a minor, was one of the only people allowed in the NSFW space. That's pretty weird. Or what about uh, this one here? So, so we, we got this coming from uh, you know Drama Alert, which I'm not a big fan of them as a source, but let's be real, they're covering this situation pretty well. So uh, remember that you know loser who was throwing a fit about Moist Critical? We got someone else doing it. 22 minutes, in, uh, minutes and doesn't once refer to her by her actual pronouns. Uh, no, actually, Moist Critical absolutely used the correct pronouns. That's that's what you don't get. That's what makes you so fucked up in the head. And I wouldn't be surprised if you got some skeletons in your closet too, Cacti Empress. Uh, so disappointing to see Moist Critical refuse to be an actual ally of the LGBT community just to appease the transphobes in his audience. Literally every other person got referred by their pronouns except Ava. Every other person, for one, has normal-ass pronouns. Every other person uh, aren't fucking pedophiles, and, and also, what do you mean the transphobes in his community? Homie was probably just speaking off the top of his dome like he does in many of his videos, because I'm pretty sure that the Moist Critical's videos aren't scripted, uh, at least, uh, at least like, the, the vast majority of them aren't scripted, they're a lot like mine, only, you know, get a whole lot more views, uh, but the fact of the matter is, uh, no, he's using the, the, the correct pronouns because the dude is, in fact, a dude, but it's not to appease any sort of transphobes in his audience, <laughs> Homie gets millions of, of, of viewers and subscribers, the whole nine, I'm sorry, let's be real, he's probably we got just as many freaks like you in his audience, but they know better. They know to keep their mouth shut right now because it's not a good look to start defending a pedo, especially if you're a tranny in this climate. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and then there was Kai Sinat. Again, a, a streamer I know nothing about other than he's super famous. Um, Kai Sinat speaks on Chris Tyson sending inappropriate text to a minor. He's weird, bro. It's fucked up. It's weird. How do you know the age of someone knowing you're a grown-ass man and still move forward? I don't understand it. That's an excellent question there, Kai. That's, that's a fantastic question. Unfortunately, that's not what Dill here wants to answer. The misgender 
misgendering on purpose is so gross. She's a pedo. Attack that she's a pedo, not her identity, please. At least you were acknowledging that this individual's a pedo and using such, you know, inflammatory language. But, uh, yeah, I, I really think that the whole transgender aspect, the misgendering aspect, falls out the window. For, again, if you even believe in that nonsense in the first place, it falls out the window once somebody is, you know, found out to be grooming children. I mean, I... I I guess more, mo most of this is because none of this is new information. This is stuff that's been blowing up on X on the last day you know, for the last 24 hours, 36 hours, however long it's been. Uh, but it's it's wild to me because on this channel we usually cover video games, you know, anime, movies, whatever it may be. We talk about the woke mind virus. We talk about the propaganda. We also talk about the good stuff. You know, we're all about embracing the positivity of nerd culture. But then something like this happens, and you are reminded that, oh, right, there's more important things going on than Black April O'Neil in the Ninja Turtles comic. There's more important things going on than uh, how many frames per second Star Wars Outlaws runs at and the fact they're trying to charge $130 for it. Because every single massive content creator, at some point or another... Turns out to be, especially if they're part of some protected class and community, turns out to be a groomer. I swear to God, even on the right wing, we've seen this. Like, I can't stand Nick Fuentes. I think the dude's a douchebag, loser, piece of shit. But didn't it come out that, like, like just yesterday or something, that turns out homies into tranny porn, and now his audience is doing everything they can to justify why that's okay and why he's, like, a different person now or whatever? Dude, there's... It's... it's People are so insane, and I can't help but find it absolutely, like, wh where is the off-ramp? How do we get back to some sense of normalcy? So, uh, maybe you guys can answer that in the comments down below, because I got nothing. I wish I did, but I have nothing. Let me know in the comments down below, or let me know on X, where you can find me at Bolt the Word. Please do subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not usually about this crap, but it's been all over the news lately. Usually it is anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon and become a member. For four ninety nine a month, you can join the Discord, choose the articles I go over on a day-to-day -day basis, choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams, and of course, get involved with over 80 other vital idols. We are a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that does not have an NSFW tab for minors to be in, by the way. Uh, but yes, we are rapidly glowing, growing, and we do care about diversity, but one kind of diversity, diversity of thought. If that's interesting to you, join the Discord, uh, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.